August 19, 1921. Orville Wright celebrates his birthday with friends. He is celebrating his 50th birthday, nine years after his brother Wilbur passed away from typhoid fever. His older brother and partner in profession is now gone. They were very close. They grew up together. They became inspired together. From the right printing press to the right bicycle shop. machine shop to the day of first flight now Orville Wright national hero and international superstar friend to presidents and world leaders, contemplates the further evolution of aviation and what is soon to come. As Orville Wright celebrates his 50th birthday, 1,500 miles away, another dreamer and visionary is born. His name is Eugene Wesley Roddenberry and like Orville Wright he is about to embark on an amazing journey he is an admirer of Orville and Wilbur Wright Charles Lindbergh and everything that is aviation Aviation fascinates Gene Roddenberry. He has always felt a connection to Orville and Wilbur Wright. And in 1939, when this picture is taken, something very unique happens. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, seen here with his friend, Orville Wright, proclaims August 19th, Gene's birthday, National Aviation Day. He does this, of course, in honor of Orville Wright, who has the same birthday. Gene's destiny will be forever tied to aviation, aeronautics, and exploration. At this time, political unrest is growing in Europe. Hitler openly mocks the American president. And American isolationism only ceases with the attack on Pearl Harbor. Orville Wright, the father of aviation, is distraught. The dream of flight has been twisted into a nightmare of worldwide aggression. Fleets of aeroplanes cause terror on innocent civilians all around the world. Orville Wright cannot help but feeling saddened. Right 
His only solace is that aviation also helped restore the peace. One of those aviators trying to restore the peace is Captain Gene Roddenberry. He captains a B-17 Flying Fortress and completes 89 combat missions. By the end of the war, Captain Rod and Mary is a highly decorated aviator in the U.S. Army Air Force. He is seen here with members of his flight and ground crew. Many forget, or are simply unaware, that part of the richness that Gene Roddenberry brought to Hollywood and Star Trek has to do with his vast life experience and command experience. Special thanks to Seth MacFarlane and Tom Constantino for unwavering support of your fans.